We're getting set up for this follow along workout, about 30 minutes till we get that started. So I'll do a quick video for you guys. You see what it says in the headlines. If you're sick of eating the same foods to stay healthy, I have the solution for you. I'm about to go over the solution in about 20 seconds. I want to give you guys a second to get in here. And I want to pull up, pull you guys up on the tablet so I can see if you guys have any questions. It's going to take just a couple minutes here. Quick little video before we get going for our workout. Workout's now in like 20 minutes. Give you guys a couple seconds to get here into the, into the group. Pull you guys up here. So if you are sick of eating the same foods, you've been doing it now, you're trying to stay healthy, and you've been eating the same foods, and it's just boring to you, you're sick of it, I'm going to go over exactly how to overcome that and exactly what you need to do and what you need to do to get the give you the right options. Just need to lower the volume. All right, so, so you, you're, you're just started eating healthy. You, maybe you've been doing it for a month or a, a week or a day or a year, who knows, whatever. But you, you start eating healthy and you're getting sick of eating the same thing. You know, it's grilled chicken, it's freaking salad, it's vegetables, it's nasty fucking cottage cheese plain greek yogurt or flavored greek yogurt whatever it is you're just sick of having the same stuff tuna fish whatever broccoli spinach all your greens all your different you know tons of different types of fish there's a million different ways you can make your chicken all your egg whites tons of different ways you could do that but you're sick of it because you're used to doing things a different way so i'm going to ask you a couple questions first really quick and i have you guys here if you have any questions you can put them on there ask yourself first what is your ultimate dream body goal? Then ask yourself, how long has it been since you've been at your ultimate dream body goal? How long has it been? How is your energy levels right now? How are you feeling before you started doing this healthy eating? How are you feeling now since you started doing healthy eating? So first ask yourself those questions and that's going to lead into this. So again, those questions are ask yourself, what's your ultimate dream body goal? Ask yourself, how long has it been since you've been at that ultimate dream body goal? Then ask yourself, how was your energy before? And your lifestyle just in general and your mood and your, your fucking mind before you started eating healthy. And how is it now since you've been eating healthy? Other than being bored. I know that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, a rough life. Bored of eating you know, the grilled chicken and shit like that. But I'm going to help you out. I'm going to hook you guys up. I'm going to give you guys a secret on the variety of food and how to, how to deal with, how to handle this when you're having problems coming up with different options or ideas for eating healthy because you're just bored of eating the same stuff. I'm going to hook you guys up. It's like a deep secret I'm going to share with you guys. So ask yourself those questions, then let that tie into what we're about to go over. My voice, yeah, it's a little froggy from that Maniac Monday. It's still recovering from doing a bunch of training sessions, you freaks, all day, every single session of the day. So my voice is still fucked up, but whatever. Here we go. So first of all, you've been eating. You've, you've eaten for taste and for flavor probably for too long. So probably your ultimate dream body goal and the time it's been since your ultimate dream body goal, I guarantee for a lot of you, it's been several months, probably for most of you, several years. For some of you, probably several decades that you've been since that ultimate dream body goal where you want to be, right? And I'm, I, tell me if I'm right or not on the, on the comments down here. So you've eaten for taste and for flavor too long. You've eaten for freaking boredom and enjoyment. You've eaten for happiness, but then the next day you eat for fucking sadness. Then you eat for loneliness. Then you eat because you're in a, in a group of people, with a group of people. You've eaten because you didn't want to offend people. You've eaten because people offer you because it's a birthday. It's fucking your, your sister's birthday. It's your birthday. It's flag day. It's fucking squirrel day in Guatemala. So you're going to find a reason to eat some fucking bullshit, right? So you, you eat because you're scared, because you're nervous, or when you have anxiety, or you have a big test coming, or you're stressing over something, or someone pissed you off. You're angry. You're happy. You find a different fucking reason, which are all excuses to eat shit. For that last, whatever that gap of time is between your ultimate dream body goal and how long has it been. We're going to use five years, we're going to say. So for five years, you've done all that stuff. Eating for fun, boredom, enjoyment, happiness, sadness, loneliness, being in a, in a party, in a group, scared, nervous, anxious. You've eaten for all those reasons the last five years and it's gotten you to where you've, you've been now. You've been eating this way for five freaking years and it's been getting you what result? What result has it gotten you? It's gotten to you where you are, where you don't feel that great. Probably your self-confidence, your self-image is not exactly where it should be and where you want it, I'm guessing, right? So if you've been doing this shit, you know, if you keep doing this shit, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. You're going to keep getting the same shitty results. You're going to have the same shitty feelings, the same shitty moods, the same shitty confidence. And 
On top of that, the same, same shitty fucking body when it comes down to it. The, the fucking American diets and pills and medications have fucking failed us for decades and decades. It's a, it's a fucking fluke. It's time for a freaking change. Change your fucking mind. Change your discipline. Change the way you look at it. Don't look at it, I'm bored of this food. You should be bored of the way you felt eating all that other shit you were eating. You should be bored of hiding behind your family in a picture because you don't want to be seen in a picture. You should be fucking bored of staying in the car when you drop off your kids at school because your kid says, hey, mom or dad, just let me out here. Don't come in because they're ashamed of the way that their mother or father looks, which is sad, but this is true. I'm not making this shit up. This is shit that's been told to me in, in, in consultations. So that's what you should be fucking bored of. Not bored of eating some fucking egg whites. That shit ain't boring. Boring is the shit I just mentioned. Bored is going shopping and not having the options of the clothes you want to buy. Bored is wearing a, a, those white fucking t-shirts that go down to the middle of your calves when you go into the ocean at the beach. You spend all this money on this fucking vacation, all included resorts and all this other bullshit. And then you're wearing a fucking a, a, a t-shirt that you'd have no business fucking wearing. That's like a, a, a gown. It's like a fucking nightgown or some shit. That should be, you should be bored of that shit. That's what you should be bored of. It's now time to eat for fucking results, eat for weight loss, eat for energy, and it's time to eat for fucking fuel. You need to decide in your head, do you want to have fun eating some nasty fucking food for like two or three minutes and have that enjoyment and then feel like fucking shit afterwards? Or do you want to feel fucking awesome on the beach? Do you want to feel fucking awesome with your energy every day? Do you want to feel fucking awesome when your kids want to go run around and play with you Instead of, you know, plopping your lazy ass on the fucking couch watching some dumbass Netflix series because you have no fucking energy because you crashed because you ate a bunch of bullshit for the last fucking five years. You want to feel fucking awesome for an additional 10 years adding quality 10 years onto your life at a fucking minimum probably. I'm not going anywhere soon. I am not going anywhere. You need to decide what is more important to you. So you get no sympathy if after, you know, a year or after a month or a week or a fucking day, and it's, oh my God, I'm, I'm so bored of this food, I'm so sick of eating like this already. Eating what? You're so sick of it. eating healthy, the way you should have been doing for the last five years, the way you should have been doing for the last 20 fucking years. Get over it. I've been doing this shit for over 20 years, and look at me, I am totally fucking normal. Don't you want to be just like me? Fucking normal? If you do what you should be doing for a long enough time, then eventually, you could do whatever the fuck you want to do forever. That's what it comes down to. Do what you need to do for a certain amount of time. That's going to give you the freedom to live life on your terms, to fucking march to the beat of your own fucking drum. And then you, you won't have to do all those other other type of boring things that I was mentioning about the t-shirts at the beach and the dropping off of the kids and the family pictures. That shit's fucking boring. Eating some egg whites every day or grilled chicken, which you can make a million fucking different ways. You can make your eggs a million fucking different ways. You can make your salads a million fucking different ways. That shit ain't boring compared to the other shit. The other shit is boring. T-shirt on the fucking beach is boring. A nightgown going into the ocean and it's all fucking stuck to you and stuck up your ass crack and all this other shit. That's fucking boring to me. People tell me when I'm eating healthy or I'm at a restaurant and I'm giving them all the specific instructions of what I want to eat. They're like, oh my God, you need to learn to live a little bit. Motherfucker, I am living a little bit. Go to the beach with your fucking nightgown on and, and see who's living a little bit. You know what I mean? So don't let anyone influence you. Don't let anyone fucking hold you back. Do what you got to do. Get over that shit. Stop saying it's boring and just looking for another excuse, another scapegoat to go back to your old ways. It's all in your fucking head. You need to have a new discipline. Get bored with your old discipline. Get bored with that old self of yours. That's not even you anymore. You're not even that person. You're not a new version of yourself. You're a new fucking person. So get bored of that other person that was holding you back for all these five years or however long it's been. I don't even know if you guys are over here talking. I got all caught up. I don't know if you guys are coming here. Let me look back here a second. Yes, Dorothy, I am fucking normal. Don't you all want to be like me? Just eat exactly what I eat. And look, you'll be up here like me, bouncing off the fucking walls like a maniac. Because you know why? Because I eat for fuel. I eat for energy. I don't like cottage cheese. That shit's fucking nasty. Those clumps of like some rotten fucking cheese. But I eat it every day because I know it's, or almost every day, because I know this is what I need to do to get my desired result, my desired outcome, which is to have energy so I could give that energy back to you fucking freaks and get you guys to where you need to be so you stop being bored on the beach in that fucking nightgown. What else we got going here? Anything else? Yes, Daisy, I said I was normal. You need to eat for freaking energy. And yes, I said ass crack. When did I say ass crack? I don't even remember when I said ass crack. I don't even know what happened here today. 
because I'm getting ready. I'm getting fired up. I'm getting warmed up for your guys' workout. We got a workout coming up in like 15, 20 minutes. Right here, same page, live. Anyway, all right, I'm an animal, but whatever. But I'm fucking normal, or whatever you guys said. Anyway, again, I'm going to finish it with what I just told you before. I posted earlier today also. If you do what you should be doing for a long enough time, then eventually you can do whatever the fuck you want to do forever. If that makes sense to you, it makes sense in my brain. It should make sense to you if you're a freak. If not, send a message. I'll explain what the fuck that means. No excuses. See you guys in the workout in a little bit.